And I'm going to do like blog post outline just to, to give an example here. And so this would help you fill out your outlines for a book or blog post or whatever, a video. What I like to do is I like to get, have Jarvis do 10 outputs for topics because that gives me a lot of ideas. Sometimes I'll mix and match uh, content from different ones. Yes. So, uh, you know, let's say I liked, you know, maybe I like the second one the most and maybe I like some stuff from, you know, this one and maybe I like stuff from, from this one. I will, you know, copy and paste those different elements and totally make my own uh, mm -hmm. version of it inside of, of Jarvis. And then... I can tweak it some more with that, um, you know, explain it to a fifth grader and the rephrasing as well. And then I can have Jarvis uh, use the compose button to actually write that content for me. Or I can start a, a sense like a, another way we could do this. Either I could manually type something uh, and, and just put that in there. Or um, I know Darby was sharing this voice in typing. So we're just going to test that out and see what it uh, types for what I say. So I'm not touching the keyboard at all. It's just Beautiful. typing for me. Beautiful. And that's, uh, I don't know, like 20 some dollars a year, I think right now they have a sale. So it's um, Darby can shoot you a link if we can yeah. something or other. It's, it's, uh, this is, I love what you're showing here. I think it's really brilliant read. And I, I hope that others are getting as much value as I am because it's one thing to, to hear about it, but it's another to see it in action. And that really helps me to learn and to understand. Um, in terms of tone of voice, how much do you do? Um, uh, how do you utilize that? I know how to use it, but um, what is your experience and some suggestions for us on that? Well, you have a lot of options. I mean, you're, you're basically limitless uh, for tone of voice. I don't use it a ton. Uh, I know I, I used it for some stuff where I did like explain, uh, explanatory for uh, of like answering questions. But now that they have a question tool, because they have this Quora answers tool and engaging questions now, those just mm -hmm. got added yesterday. I don't know if there'd really be much uh, use for that. Um, another use for like those engaging questions and the, the core answers is you could, uh, for your book, you could come up with engaging questions uh, about your topic mm -hmm. and those could be in your, your chapter and then you could use the core answers to help answer it. And if you don't like how that's written- See, then you're you could like use layering them. there again, Reed. So definitely. You're like a- you're like a master. Like, you know, the guy at the at the circus who's juggling the plates? That's you. You've got all the templates going, Reed. It's great. You know, I, you. I go in and out of them all the time. So it's a lot of fun. Right. Um, with that, the tone, you can go off of you know, famous people. You can go mm -hmm. off of, um, you know, excited or nervous or calm, mm -hmm. confident. You can, uh, you know, describe how you want uh, that tone to be. Or, or it could be, you know, a, a movie star or, or a politician or an author, um, you know, someone that's prolific that has mm -hmm. a lot of content, especially uh, written content online. Is, right. is going to be easier for Jarvis to understand Great. how to use. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, everybody's putting in the link for the voice extension there. It's the Dictanote um, site. 